Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to put parallel lines on a graph in Excel. Um, I have a graph already prepared here. Um, it's a gra graph of uh, viewers per year for Ramble production uh, by year. And when you, uh, when you first create a, a graph in Excel, uh, this happens to be a scatter plot, it, um, it includes the horizontal grid lines, the horizontal parallel lines, but not the vertical parallel lines. Um, so I've actually made it so there are none at all, and I'm going to show you how to add and, and modify the, the, the grid lines. So let me just first zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, so the first thing to do is to, is to click on the, on the chart and make sure the chart is selected and not some other feature of the chart like the data or the grid lines. Just click sort of towards the edge of the chart somewhere and, and the, the whole chart is selected. And then go up to uh, one of the chart menus and it, it may look different on your operating system or your particular version of Excel. But look for, look for a menu option called grid lines and click on it and you'll see that there are options for horizontal or vertical grid lines. Now when you go down for each of those, you, um, you see there are options for no grid lines, which is what we have right now, and that's checked. You can put the major grid lines only, the minor grid lines only, or the major and minor grid lines. Now I know some different versions of Excel on, on different operating systems are slightly different where they'll say major grid lines and minor grid lines, and when you, when you check the minor grid lines, the major ones are still checked. Uh, this particular version, you can do the major and the minors won't show. You can do the minors and the majors won't show, or you can do both. So just to keep it simple for now, let's do the major grid lines. And there we go. You can see the horizontal grid lines are, are showing. And then let's do the same thing for the vertical grid lines. We'll go and we'll do the major grid lines. So now the major grid lines are showing. Um, and now let's just show the different things you can do. So we can go and we can actually put Let's just do major and minor for the horizontal ones only uh, because maybe you want to you know, really see uh, more refined. You want to pick out what the value is for a particular year. Um, and then the, the other thing I like to do is I like to, I like to make the, the minor li grid lines very faint because they're just use, used to help you guide you to where the points are. And, and the less um, you know, thick lines you are, the more you have, the more readable a chart is. So we'll, we'll go until our cursor is over a minor grid line, double click on it, and we have the formatting options for that grid line. And uh, let's go to weights and arrows, weights and arrows for a thousand, Alex. And um, we're going to go to dashed, and I like a, just a little dotted line, I think. I think it looks nice. It's, it's nice and just enough to, um, to, to, to see where you are without cluttering the plot up too much. I hope this has been useful. This is Ted, and today I showed you how to put parallel lines on a graph in Excel. Thank you for watching.